Hello, hello, mother father. Okay, so we will watch Bumper Survivors only works because we're stupid. We're stupid. Bumper Survivors. Hindi ko alam, na alam ko yung game. Pero ano, uh, hindi pa ako nakalaro na ito. But alam ko yung game kasi napapanood ko sa YouTube. Ilang beses dati. And it is interesting. Interesting yung game. Interesting. And nakita ko tong video na to. And then ano nga ba? Bakit nga ba? Uh, nag-work yung Vampire Survivors kasi tayo ay stupid we are stupid enough to uh, to understand Vampire Survivors Vampire Survivors I think kasi mal malaking ano malaking uh, first of all feeling ko talaga malaki kasi yung puntos nung no, no, uh, point na nagustuhan natin Vampire Survivors and it is also good for stupid people kasi uh, yung graphics madaling intindihin Una sa lahat, simple enough to understand. Pangalawa, big numbers equals big impact. Big numbers equals big person. Big big numbers equals big damage. Kapag kayo nakikita mo yung mga numbers na yung nagkalaki-lakihan, na parang nagkakaroon siya ng impact lalo pag nagkakaroon ng critical. Minsan sa game kasi ganun eh. Pag nakikita mo yung graphics, sobrang, sobrang critical health, tapos malaki yung number, tapos parang naka-highlight pa sa sayo. Nararamdaman mo yung impact. Ay, ang laki ng ano ko dun. Bawas ko dun. Shucks. Ang kaling ng ano ko dun. Anong ginawa ko dun? Laki na critical ko dun. Pak, nabawasan. Anong ginawa ko dun? Minsan ganun eh. Parang bongga-bongga na parang monkey ka na lang. Nag-isip ko na lang. Hu, 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 big. Hu, hu, hu. Alam mo yun? Parang monkey brain eh. Stop yung working ng ano mo, ng isip mo. Tapos monkey brain na yun tum nag-ano sa'yo. Tapos, ay, laki ng numbers. Ala, yan na, yan na, yan na. Tapos, ang dali niya tintihin. Mukha siya madaling tintihin. I've never played this one. But I saw it in YouTube. Yung mga naglalaro na ganito. It is good game, actually. It is good game. It is not hard to understand. Uh, and it is fun. It is fun. I think that's the main thing here is parang... Big numbers, big person, big ano uh, something. Ano pa ba big sa yo? Yang yang ulo mo bang big ba? Bob ano ulo yan? Sa taas ba o sa baba? Anong anong tinutukoy mong ulo? Sa taas syempre nako, ano may iniisip mo? Iniisip mo nako, nako. Syempre sa ulo natin, yung ego natin tumataas, lumalaki ang ego. Syempre malaki ang ego natin. So yun nga. Ah, uh, ano yo? True, 100%. Hindi dapat siya fun kasi nga yung graphics niya is super low quality budget but still, it is just so simple. Sobrang simple. At tama siya dito. Oh, play. Para siyang Castlevania nga daw. Hindi ko pa nalaro yung Castlevania but it is look like Castlevania if you will compare it like this. True, 100%. 100%. I wouldn't say na boring siya at hindi siya strategy. I would say it is strategy kasi you should pick should pick the right the right something na lumalabas dun, di ba? Yung sa parang nagpa-pop. Kasi yung napapare ko sa YouTube yan, parang wow! Uh, hindi siya basta-basta actually. You should think the right pattern na pwedeng lumabas dun sa skill mo or something na ganyan. It is still using your brain but it is not to the point na talagang may inis ka na mag rage quit ka. Okay? Tsaka, nag, tsaka alam ko yung mga goal ka dyan na parang level by level. Eh. It's still a game that you should play. It is not boring though. It is not boring. But eventually, it will become boring once you are you're hitting you're ready uh... and one more thing. If you are if you are parang napapagod ka eh, lahat naman ang laro ganun eh kapag napapagod ka na parang naboboring ka na eh pag tumagal pero sa umpisa hindi siya boring actually hindi siya boring sa umpisa and uh, isa pa one more thing isa sa mga naisip ko din na parang ano maganda yung game of Vampire Survivors is because and it works to stupid people kasi nga you feel you are winning you are feeling that you are winning you're doing something that more attacks na sobrang convoluted yung parang ano dito yung itsura you feel that you are accomplishing something which is typically mga games 
na ginagawa should be ginagawa ng games you should feel na you have accomplished something you are doing something impact yun dapat yung nararamdaman mo yun dapat nararamdaman mo sa mga games nowadays which provided by vampire survivors Yeah, tina mo, tina mo, ang dami. Ang dami nangyari, di ko alam yung nangyari. Pak, 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 pak. Ang gulo-gulo. But still, yung, yung monkey brain mo, yung monkey, hu, 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 I'm doing something. I'm doing damage. Hu, 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 hu. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go. I can be more strong with this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. True. True. Sobrang nasasatisfied ka talaga. Dahil yung monkey brain mo, yung nagtuturo sa'yo na itong game na to, satisfying, lalo kapag nakakreate ka ng damage, at lalo kapag ka yung nakakreate ka ng anything na parang feeling mo, helpful. Boy, okay itong game na to. Unlike si mga game, oh my god. Natalo na naman ako. Oh my god. Dalaglag na naman ako. Ay, nako. So start ulit ako sa umpisa. Oh my god. Nasa na yung, nasa na yung ano, hindi nagpipay off yung ano ko. Yung, uh, yung, yung time at effort na ginawa ko within 3 to 4 hours is uulit ko ulit sa umpisa. May mga games na ganun eh. Sa Vampire Survivors, you will feel parang you have, you, you are accomplishing something at least because of the graphics na meron sila. Parang ang dami nangyari, ang dami nangyari. Feeling ko ganun. I've never played this game. I've just watched some of the gameplays of this but I like it even though I didn't play it. Maybe it, this video can help me to analyze more the Vampire Survivors. It will also help you. Mm, magic survival. Magic survival. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Well, let's say inspired. Maybe just inspired, right? Strange is that in spite of the many similarities between the two games, I didn't find magic survival anywhere near as engaging. In fact, oh, tr really? Really? The only real difference is the vampire survivors offers on a game level are the fact that it has a fancy chest opening animation. Uh, Yung reward system. The game's has a hard oh, look, look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. Yo, oompa loompa, boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, I think I'm doing better. I'm producing numbers. Compara sa real life ko. Nice, good job myself. Good job myself. I'm feeling satisfied with these numbers. Ano yung mga numbers na yun? Ano pum 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 oh, Parang nagkakaroon ng critical crit call here. Pack, pack, pack. True, agreed. We are thinking the same thing. The unlockables are cool. That cool. Eh, kind of cool. Kind of okay-ish. Eh, I think that, that adds as well for the uh, lore at well, as well as the uh, you know the game experience of the person we are we are allow me to explain we tend to think of mathematics as the domain of logic and objectivity and for the most part it is however because of math okay guys 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 okay Without math, we cannot measure on how good we are. Without math, we cannot know what are better for us. We cannot measure, check. Ano ba? Without the math, we cannot live in the world. Okay? Hindi mo alam kung magkano yung presyo na itong isang gulay o isang product na to, isang, isang peke na to. Alin ba dito yung mas totoo? Without those information of maths. Okay? We need math in life. We need, really, really need math. We need math numbers to compare things kung ano ba yung magbe-benefit sa atin. Math help us to give the decision. Math help us to, to decide those things na nahirapan tayo mag-decide. 
kahit simple mat lang. say uh, yes kinda kinda manipulative kinda 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 kasi yung lahat kasi naglaro ng vampire survivors sa monkey brain yung pinaka subconscious natin ng monkey brain yun yung activate which is yung monkey brain natin sadyang literally monkey you're a monkey don't deny it you're one of the species of monkey Okay, you have a monkey brain. Once you play it, your monkey brain will activate. Even though you have the, you're the most genius, you're most intellectual, and once you play it, you will feel it when you feel it, because you're a monkey. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I could really go in depth and break down the hidden tricks that make vampire survivors so gripping, we should get to grips with the idea that humans don't see numbers anywhere near as rationally as we're going to assume, and that video game designers are taking advantage of this fact for decades. Big numbers, better person. Sabi nila, big numbers, better person. Think about it. Think about it. Yan lang yan. Look at our old friend Marion. No, not him. The, the real Marion. There we go. That's the Marion. Oh my god. Stomping on a gun. Oh my god. But arguably the first and most basic thing you can do in the game gives you one kind of problems. Okay, got it. Got it. Actually, yung pag ginano ko yun, hindi ko naman napapansin na may 100 pala yun eh. May ko lang napansin niya na. So, totoo. I I played Mario when I was a child, but I didn't notice it. Maybe maybe it's just because I'm just a child. I don't just really play Mario. I've never played Mario after my childhood. But I've never finished Mario. I've never finished Mario. <laughs> I'm not a gamer. Okay, I'm not a gamer. Yeah, true. Agreed, agreed. So, parang lumalabas na, Uy, mas marami ang coin ako kuha. Mas malaki yung puntos ko. Yun yung priority ko. Diba? And instead of talunin ko ito lahat, wasangin ko ito lahat, kaya yung iba dyan sa Mario, yun yung lagpasan na lang yung mga ganyan, diba? Sabay, kung yung isin mo, pag makikita mo, Uy! Naka 23,450 ako! Wow! I'm better than you! Pag nag-compare sila sa iba. True! Pagdating nga sa presyo, di ba? Naka-divided by 10 din. Usually, mga divided by 5. Para mas simple lang siyang maintindihan ng mga monkey brain natin, di ba? Kaya ganun din naman yung parang same lang din yung pagdating sa pag, ano, pagbuwi-bili ka ng, pre, ng, ng mga goods and services eh. Never, well sabagay, okay, may mga 50 cents, 50 cents, 98 cents. Yun yung mga ano parang, ano yan, ang tawag dyan, uh, sales tactics. For example, this is just 4.99. Isipin mo, 400 lang siya. Even though, 1 peso na lang, magiging 500 na siya. Sales. Marketing. Oh, may ganun. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know that one. Uh, true. Because we are monkeys. <laughs> We're monkeys. True. Agreed. 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 Para bang, kasi alam mo kasi na maliit lang na, ay, ano ba tong effort ko? Ang liit lang ng effort ko. Ito ba yung reward ko? Ay, yun ko niyan. Hanap tayo na mas malaking effort, di ba? Pagka yung effort, gusto natin yung effort natin, is maramdaman natin yung value niya, malaki. But even though you, what we have done is just simple as that. Just jumping. Pinball. 
simple. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I played it uh, back in the day when we have a Windows XP. You know the Windows XP Generation Z do not know Windows XP. Maybe they know. Alam mo yung i-click mo na yung Z tsaka yung ano, diba? Period ba yun? Yung slash? Tatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Ano yung mga tool na pipili mo, di ba? You know ano yung kakalabasan nito and you will be satisfied at the end. Even though alam mo na matatalo ka, possible matalo ka, but it is better kung manalo ka. True! Alam mo yung parang sumugod ka sa isang gera, ikaw lang mag-isa, tapos tinalo mo sila lahat ng isang slash mo, dalawang slash, satong slash, tapos AOE attack yung ginawa mo. Sheesh! That's cool though! Cool though! We are having monkey brain here. Diba? Cool yun! Yun yung para, isipin, imagine, just imagine, imagine. Kasi isang gera ka, you are a player in an MMO, MMO something. You are controlling your own. Then you are doing some slashes for all those soldiers, those people. Then bam, they are dead because of your one slash, two slash, three slash. And then you are very cool with that. True. Nakakainis nga yung minsan yung ganyan. Pag kung naglalaro ka, tapos naka, nakaharang na yung mga numbers, di mo nalamin yung nangyayari. Ah, I think I'm just doing some damage. I think I'm just dam- doing damage. Ganyan, ganyan. Parang inisip, parang, ah, okay, simple lang yan, okay lang yan. Parang boring na kasi hindi mo nalamin yung nangyayari. You do not know what is happening. Hindi mo alam kung kontrolado mo ba yung ano mo, uh, character mo, natatabunan na ng numbers. True. <laughs> Malamang, salamang. Diba? Imagine, kapag nanalo ka ng isang million, diba? One thousand dollar, one million dollar. Kaya, one million pesos, diba? Sa isang loto. That's the thinking here, diba? What if you have a money that's so big? Parang ganun lang naman yun, eh, diba? Just imagine, diba? Parang yung, yung damage mo, parang ganun din, diba? Just think about it. Just think about it. Sabi mo, wow, lakas ng damage ko. Parang nanalo sa loto nun, boy. I know, it is not correlation, but just think about it. Diba, kore, may 1 million pesos ka, kung pwede sa 1 million damage na meron ka, parang ang lakas mo. Parang ang superior, you feel superior. Did you laugh? Did you laugh? Is that the joke? It's getting bigger though. It's getting bigger. Are you getting bigger? Mm, it's getting bigger? No, 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 no. I see, I see. We'll get there. We will get there. Yeah, if the numbers are going up, thinking yeah, nagiging strong ka, diba? You feel superior! Rather than a feeling of excitement and triumph, decreasing numbers create tension and fear. The most obvious examples of this, of course, would be timers in games. Just being able to see your remaining seconds ticking away massively ratchets up the tension in a game, even when running out of time, isn't really much of a threat at all. Really sneaky games can even trick you into panicking at countdowns by playing with some of our other biases. Counter-Strike's bomb refusal uses an impractical number of decimal places to make... You are giving uh, some, uh, ang tag dito, parang uh, urgency. Urgency, that's the term, right? Urgency. The intensity ng laro, which is, it can give additional good factors to players. Kapag ganon. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, things don't stop there. Increasing not 
just our stats, souls, and simoleons, decreasing not just our seconds, shotgun shells, and sanity, but the rate at which they increase or decrease, developers can double down on the emotions these changes induce. Oh, well, true, kinda. If you're feeling powerful, then you see that the timer is uh, going down. Yeah, it, it creates urgency and your uh, thinking ability is also increases as well. Making sure that you want to win to have a more powerful weapon or powerful stra strategies or stats. The thing here is that from increasing from from lower to higher, you 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 feel that you're progressing. You feel that uh, your uh, your 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 uh, uh, your stats or yung ano mo yung yung ano mo yung tawo dito yung yung tawo dito yung parang ano yung <coughs> ano ba explain to yung parang progression. O, tama yung term na progression eh yung parang ano yung flow yung flow ng larumo is you f you're feeling uh, lumalakas ang lumalakas na lumalakas ka. Kapag nafe-feel mo na parang sobrang lumalakas na lumalakas ka, tapos imagine, nag-start ka dun sa bottom, tapos ngayon nandito ka na, nagda-damage ka ng 1 million. Whew! It is so very satisfying, you know? That's the hard work. You will think hard work. Kasi nakakuantify mo siya eh. Nakakuantify mo, nag-start ka sa bottom na ganito lang yung damage mo na 1. And then comparing it now, nagkakaroon ka ng 1 million. It is very satisfying na parang nakakuantify mo. That's why we need math in life. Para makompare mo yung sarili mo. Uy, mayroon akong growth na nangyari. May growth na nangyari sa akin. Unlike sa true life, sa real life. You do not know. Eh, unless you know math. Na parang ito yung naging progress ko. Dati nung bata ko, ito lang alam ko. Ngayon, ito na alam ko. So many people hindi nila na-realize kung ano yung growth na meron sa kanila. Kasi ang alam nila lang, yung ano yung nasa present. You should know at least kung nasan ka dati, nung baby ka, nung bata ka, ito lang alam mo. Ngayon marami ka ng alam. You should at least uh, recognize yung ano mo rin, yung sarili mo. Diba? Recognize yung mga, yung mga natutunan mo, naging growth mo mula ng pagkabata ka. Hindi yung ibang tao dyan na parang minamalit nila yung sarili nila. Marami dyan na they... they uh, they mock themselves they they think of se themselves low and having them small uh, esteem uh, small self esteem just be, just take note boy girls bakla tong boy butiki ba boy lgbtq abul na mga kung ano mang lahi meron ka kung ano mang gender na meron ka please take note you are not uh, on that particular position in your life or in that particular intelligence in your life or parang hindi ka nagmature ng ganyan sa sarili mo ngayon kung hindi dahil sa progression na meron ka mula pagkabata ka diba from start ka wala ka pang alam ngayon marami ka ng alam mas marami ka ng alam compare sa sarili mo kahapon mas marami ka ng alam compare sa sarili mo nung isang araw you should take note and have it parang ano parang ma-recognize sa sarili mo oh I did some good I did something. I grow a lot. I grow a lot since yesterday. Sana makaklaro yung sarili kasi marami dyan. Man, self-esteem nila masyado mababa. Just make sure na it can help you to progress more. That's why we need math. Okay? This is basically half the appeal of logistics games. You'll start off by manually harvesting single units of basic resources and then you'll automate more than you can ever cross by hand. And before long, you'll have the massive mm -hmm. production chains mm -hmm. and if anything, way too much true true tas to the point na yung ibang mga games dyan hindi ko na maintindihan ano na nangyari <laughs> ang dami ko nang iniisip na parang ato ah, okay gagawin ko to ito ito meron ako neto ito yung nagagawa niya okay ito yung skill niya okay game game boy boy I have a monkey brain literally a monkey brain <laughs> siguro ako nga alam yung monkey brain I cannot process everything dapat kailangan yung sakto lang Oh, ng critical? I see. Para maramdaman mo na yung uh, critical period na yon is you are doing something na parang 
hindi siya normal na usually na nangyari. Ay, konti na lang yung bala ko. Konti na lang yung health ko. Tapos pag tumira ka, yun pala, na ano pala yung program pala ng developer yon ay si program pala siya ng developer na pag konti bala mo siguro yung help mo konti na lang tapos pilang naman tayo malaki yung damage para ma-feel mo that it is a critical hit and then you feel stronger and it is yung parang urgency na parang na, 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 na ano ka nando ka sa kaligitnaan ng parang matinding laban na parang yung accomplishment mo uy nagawa ko yun ang galing ko yung pala design pala yun ng developer I see. Ganda nga. I see. Now we know this. Now we know this. We will think. Diba? Na parang iba na magiging thinking natin sa mga laro na to. It's not enough to just keep increasing numbers. Not only do humans still have those size-related biases as I mentioned earlier, where making a number too big or too small will make it difficult to care about, but all these fluctuating values still need to be grounded in some sort of context. It's all too easy for games to slip into giving us the engaging but superficial illusion of progression by constantly giving us larger and larger numbers on our screen only to lose our interest the moment we snap out of it because it's clear nothing's really changed. This is what ends up happening in some Bethesda games, but because the enemies scale up with you, being replaced by harder but very similar variants, it becomes difficult to really gauge how much of a difference your new armor, weapons, or level up really make, which feels less satisfying than in a game without scaling enemies like Fallout New Vegas, where you can go back and annihilate castles in the late game for revenge on your super high level character. By setting up a strong baseline expectation for players to compare their course to, games can even supersede some of those other biases. The good Paper Mario games, as well as the titles to copy them, often work with very small numbers, which don't individually feel that great. But when your one damage jump packs get doubled to two damage each, it feels like this massive game changer because you played the game long well enough to develop an expectation of how much damage you can do. Oh, I see. Tama, tama. Which then broken as your damage output doubles. Boom 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 Yoo! I killed them all! Woo! Damage! 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 Woo! Yeah, I think so. I can understand. I can understand. Nung para siyang uh, race, race trains against time, and then you know that you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and then the uh, urgency, yung intensity ng laro nandoon, yung focus mo nandoon na yung giga brain, monkey brain, high polluting uh, uh, ultra rare skill na meron ka, biglang lalabas, akala mo ang galing galing mo yung pala. Simple lang yung ginawa ko, pinindot mo lang yung screen mo. Alam mo yun, yung parang lalo ko na, na, na eh, ganito ha, kang tao kasi, syempre survival yan, di ba? Yung mga monkey, ganun din naman, di ba? So survival the fittest tayo, boy. So syempre, kung sakali ng feeling mo, lumalakas ka, pero may timer, meron kang limited time lang. So yung brain mo, lalong gumagana ng gumagana ng monkey brain mo, di ba? So nakakaisip siya ng mga genius na, na ano, na combination, good combination. And then you feel more accomplished kasi nagawa ko yun. Ako gumawa niyan. Sa real life, hindi mo lang magawa. Sayang naman. 
kung nagagamit mo lang yung real life mo <laughs> yung intelligence na meron ka pero sa bagay kasi iba naman kasi yun eh iba naman kasi talaga yung kung ano yung gusto mong gawin ba? Diba? Because you're interested. You're interested kasi mo nandoon, naka-focus, 'di ba? Pag hindi naman kasi interested tayo sa real life na ginagawa natin, bakit naman tayo kailangan mag-focus? I understand that. Kasi may timer, na parang maano ka, ma-urgent ka, ma- maano ka eh, ma-intensity ng laro nandoon eh, na parang, yes, I have this reward, I accomplish this, I deserve this reward, I deserve. True. Kapag nakita ko may numbers malaki diyan, okay, go. <laughs> Wala lang pa kay bas. Sa katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, 'di ba? Pag naglalaro ka, ganyan-ganyan minsan, manlalaro tayo. Hindi ako gamer, technically, pero dati nung pagkabata ko, manlalaro ka pang ano, pang uh, pang matanda na laro na ngayon. Pero 'yun nga, kapag nakita ko na nakakatulong siya sa akin, sige, go, go, go. Basta alam ko nakakatulong siya. I do not care kung anong numbers na meron ko, ilan 'yan o something. Basta alam ko nakakatulong 'yan. Then after that, doon na lang ako mag-iisip kung ano gagawin ko diyan. I'm not saying na lahat ng tao ay bad in probability since sabi niya, but most or some of them are bad in probability in playing games. Hindi porket na para bang ano, hindi mo nakuha yung gusto mong item sa isang laro is uh, I broken yung game. Bayan si yung game. Scam to, scam to. Please take note, it is 10%. It is 0.001%. It is like sa mga gacha games, di ba? Yung tiyatawag na Genshin Impact. Uh, yung mga laro na ganyan. Uh, ano mga laro? Basta yung mga gacha games ganyan. Mayroon 0.01% na chance. Hindi porket na ano, na hindi mo siya nakuha yung item na yun. Is, ano na, scam na. Or baka naman, skill issue or something na ganyan. It is just that yung probability mo ko mayroon, it's like low lang talaga. Sobrang low. Kasi para ba siya sabi na expect mo na, oh, ito makukuha ko sa 10% ng chance. Hindi siya guaranteed. Sana sinabi yung 100%, hindi ka ba nagbabasa. Doon pa lang may kita mo yung tao eh, na para bang nag-expect siya na ganito dapat makukuha, tapos di niya nakuha. Nakalimutan niya, oh, may percentage, may probability yung tinatawag. Yun yung sinasabi niya dito sa video na to, na parang yung mga tao ngayon, maglalaro, is they do not care about probability. They do not care about probability. Basta gusto na makuha, gusto na makuha. Nakalimutan nila na, oy may chances of winning yan ha may chances of winning not just guaranteed it is not guaranteed a chances of winning true true makakalimutan mo yun eh makakalimutan mo na pag nakuha mo yung isang ano gusto mo makakalimutan na mo na oy may 10% chance pala siya makuha napaka lucky ko kasi pala lucky ako lucky ganyan Not usually, not usually. Some persons or some people who are playing, uh, they do not tend to have more emotion. But it is, it is also. I I agree. Now it might be a good driven. Parang ano? Isa sa mga factors yun na people usually remember score in the finale sa larong yon. Diba after mo matapos yung laro, hindi mo naman natatandaan ilang damage yun ako, na, na, hindi mo naman natatandaan ilang damage yun nagawa mo dun sa isang kalabaw mo na dun sa floor A, B, C, D, diba? 
para sa isang ano sa isang boss monster from uh, 132 floors inside quest doon sa may gilid ng kweba sa isang monster na yun sa isang laro hindi mo na natatanda yun lang damage na gagawa mo dun diba? o ilang probability na nakuha mo dun sa isang ano item na yun hindi mo siya natatandaan alam mo lang experience na naramdaman mo Do you love it? Do you love it or hate it? Do you love it? Usually mga tao talaga, natatanda mo na yung mga negative, di ba? Kung ano yung ano, ano, kasi yung malaking impact eh, di ba? Kung ano yung malaking impact na naranasan mo, yun yung nag, nagtago sa puso mo eh. Yung parang, ah, namatay ako dito sa larong ito, ah, pinatay ako na ganito. Hindi makalimutan mo, dahil mo ang pinatay na zombie boy. Makalimutan mo na kapatay mo yung dalawang boss monster, no? hindi matalo ng iba. Makalimutan mo na dapat mo palang nagawa mo yung puzzle, di ba? Makalimutan yung mga yun. Kalimutan mo yung mga yun. Pero, yun nga. ba? Diba? Mas na, natatanda na mo, kailangan namatay. Yung mga negative na nangyari sa'yo. Yun yung natatanda mo kasi yun yung nagde-trigger ng emotions mo. No, 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 I do not want you. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I do not know what you mean because I'm a good gamer. I'm the greatest good gamer. I win all the time, all day, all the time. I've never experienced bad. I've never experienced bad gaming. I like games. Even though I'm not a gamer. I've never played games, but I love games. I'm good at games. Maniwala kayo, please. Trust me. Trust me. I'm good at games. You see these eyes? You trust me, right? Trust me. I'm good. Right. Surely you're good. Yes, I'm good. Trust me. How do games deal with this? Maybe. Somewhat. Somewhat not. Sometimes. Even though I never play games. Nowadays, I never play games. <laughs> It's coming from me, no? Right? <laughs> My ego is boosting. Well, they can't direct me. Our statistical terribleness is pretty deep set. So instead, many games subtly alter numbers behind the scenes to give us a more fun experience that's in line with our flawed understanding rather than give us a bad time by being truthful. For example, XCOM, despite its reputation, actually gives players a bunch of invisible bonuses to help them out on everything from the highest difficulty. The Civilization games have hidden star biases to ensure sips that say Okay, got it, got it. So, parati hindi ma boring or masaktan yung mga players. Ito mga developers na to, they give some bonuses to them. Oh, kawawa ka naman, hindi mo magawa to. Okay, sige, pagbibigyan na nga kita. Ito na, oh, bigyan kita na boss para matapos mo na ha. Okay na ba yan? Naawa pa sila. Naawa pa. Naawa pa yung mga developers sa atin. Wow. Wow. No, I do not like it. I do not need those bonuses. I will kill it. I will accomplish this. I will be succeed without those bonuses. I'm a good gamer. Welcome our developers. To be fair, we need this actually. To be fair. Just for the game to be more appealing tsaka mas lalo siyang laruin. Kasi kung yung game nun, parang lagi patay-patay ka na lang. Ay gusto ba na ano? Sino ba may, sino ba may gusto lagi na mamatay at natatalo? Siyempre lahat ng gusto ng laro na nanalo siyempre. Sa League of Legends lang naman yung mga, ano yung mga naglalaro na parang ano eh no? Mga ano pa din eh, baliw-baliwan eh. <laughs> Joke lang, pero lang. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Beyond that, vampire survivors even tricks us by making us think we got an ultra rare five item chest in our first game. It's Woo! Ultra rare! Ultra rare! Monkey brain activated! Ultra rare! Let's go, baby! I deserve it! Yes! Look at me! Look at me! 
even though the developers just did it for you to enjoy the game. Nice, uh, really dude okay the developers done everything here psychologically if you will analyze this video okay and this is what the video says here the developers just the developers uh made this game just for the monkey brains people for you to enjoy it that's the video saying here i think i think Okay, if you know, if you, if you, uh, okay, unethical, parang, for example, sa Genshin Ipa or something na ganyan, mga randomly na ano, as long as you get what you deserve, you think you deserve, then it is ethical. Okay, if you put some effort, money, time, or anything, and then you, you expect something that is equal to that, that is reasonable, then that's ethical. But if not, then that, that's unethical. Okay, and then, Job Louis Mortal? Job Louis Mortal? Is that ethical? That's unethical! Hello, <laughs> man. If there is a gear or a equipment that you can buy using your real money just to increase your stats or to, to become stronger, that is unethical. Hindi sana payamana na lang to. Diba? Ay, di sana, puro na lang tayo, pera-pera na lang. Kung mas mayaman pala ako, mas dalaw kung mas malakas. Ano kasi Iron Man? Ayos ah. You are playing the game to get out of the real life situation. Di ba? Karaniwan naman nila rin dyan eh. Wala namang pera masyado. Kung meron man, hindi ganun kadami. Usually mga estudyante, mga bata, at usually hindi sila kumikita ng pera. Nanghihingi lang yun sa mga mother nila, sa mother-mother nila. Ano na expect mo dyan, di ba? Unfair naman kung yung game igagamit mo ng pera para lang lumakas ka. You can do some like parang sa skins. Pero pwede, pwede kang magamit ng pera pero wag naman directly na para makakapekto sa game to the point na yun ay magiging basis ng pagkalakas mo. Unfair yun. That's unfair. I see, I see. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Actually, regardless kung manipulate ba sila o hindi, as long as you enjoy the game, that's the ma that's the thing most important, right? As long as you enjoy the game. Uh, <laughs> sabi mo, Bob, Bob, you're just using your monkey brain there. You should analyze more. But that's the truth. Yeah. Uh, pag hindi mo na enjoy yan, di ba? Uh, then, it is, it is a bad game. Um, I wish I could tell you there was, but to my mind, there really isn't. As much as we may moralize about certain games being ethical and others being evil, all successful art is on a fundamental level manipulative. Whether it's a sophisticated form of manipulation... As long as the... Yeah, I understand that those developers are manipulating the game just to give you a good satisfaction of the game, but... But they are giving us a good satisfaction of the game. Gusto mo ba laging matalo? <laughs> Yun ba gusto mo? Gusto mo ba laging mamatay hindi na lang manalo? Siyempre, games are meant to be enjoyed. Okay? Usually, games created meant to be enjoyed, that's the first thing. Kapag gusto mo maging competitive, that's the second thing. Right? You can be competitive if you want. But, games are meant to be enjoyed. Or something more simple, like using 
big numbers or lying about stats could probably move a move a kid. Kapag ka naman mag- 1 trillion agad yung pagano mo, eh, para bang hindi naman kapanipaniwala yan. Para scam to. <laughs> Na critical ka, tapos di pa nababawasan, tapos 1 million, 1 trillion yung damage mo. Ano to? Ano life bar niya? Grabe. Eh, kailangan maging reasonable naman siya. Yan na parang na ano sa real life natin, di ba boy? No, I think... I think, yeah, it can be somewhat fake enjoyment. Uh, just, parang nag-create, yung mga developers, they create game for you to feel this particular emotions. Parang ganun yung sinasabi niya. Na parang, it is ma- somewhat manipulative emotionally. But still, but still, it is bad or is it good? It is bad because you want to feel the game as it is. Without the, uh, without the, uh, without the, uh, Uh, manipulation of the developers. Yes, it is good, but it is also good to feel uh, emotionally ng genuine na parang as it is, kung ano yung game na yun. Wala namang masama din doon. It's okay. You know what? The 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 the, the most important is just to enjoy. As long as you enjoy, regardless kung nagmanipulative ba yung game na yun or hindi, as long as you enjoy, then good. That's good. It is a great game. If we, if we didn't that if we didn't enjoy, then it's bad, di ba? I got it. Yeah, true, true. Agreed. I have agreed to that. Okay, just to what I understand is parang uh, it is better to feel uh, a game Uh, to have a progression in a game, particular game, di ba? Progression sa isang game, uh, without knowing na parang, alam mo yun, parang minamanipulative pala siya or something na ganyan-ganyan. Ha, basta nakalimutan ko na, nang sasabihin ko. <laughs> Naintindi nyo yung English, basahin nyo na lang. Ayun, meron namang ano. <laughs> Bob, your commentary is not good. Not good. Why are you like that? You know, we explain in English, eh? We've evolved past this kind of cool to the barring difficulty, and instead the game uses these tricks to enhance and fundamentally empower you for it. That's actually pretty easy, and crucially, you only have to play it all once. It's easy to feel defensive when you realize that the game, or in fact any piece of art, has taken advantage of a weakness in the human psyche to make you feel something. Yeah, true. Yeah, it, it is. Kapag nalaman mo na yung developer pala na yun is uses some psychological tactics just to feel just to make you feel something that is satisfied it is suck actually it is not good it is not good pagka na, parang na, na manipulate oh okay naramdaman ko tong feeling na to dahil sa ito kasi yung developer na to nalaman ko na ito yung ginagawa niya para at least ma, 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 ma-realize ko na maganda yung game niya kasi uh, ipinoint out niya na dito dapat yung ito dapat yung maramdaman ko dahil ito yung ginawa nung game na yun sa akin <laughs> True. Once you know that the biases are exist, then you will know na parang alin ba dito yung manipulative na laro. Manipulative or did this, this developers manipulate people or not? Ganun, parang ganun. 
which is good so kung you are a long time programmer grinding set you should know at least some of the games that are manipulative at least in psychological sense kung bakit mo nga ba na 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 ano na 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 enjoy yung laruin ng isang laro maybe you're just manipulated by the developer na parang gusto nila ito yung maramdaman mo hindi mo alam maybe 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 I can also manipulate you to watching this video if ever di ba di natin alam maybe I'm just tricking you tricking you watching this having my long commentary for this 23 minutes video and make it longer than 30 minutes and one hour video maybe I'm just tricking you watching more maybe maybe think about it maybe I'm just manipulating you maybe in watching more or maybe not you just go out there okay <laughs> sorry sorry even when we should be editing this video so instead of judging games based on what they do to create fun experiences I think it's far more productive to look at why sure vampire survivors might use less sophisticated means than say god of war ragnarok mm -hmm. which contains but that doesn't make it any lesser of an experience or a less notable work of art in fact I think it might actually be better don't tell anyone and discriminating against them on this basis really says more about us than anything else. So I guess what I'm trying to admit in a roundabout fashion here is that yes, I was wrong to say that Vampire Survivor shouldn't be fun, and no, I've never been wrong about anything else in my entire career making YouTube videos. Don't even bother looking. Now, if you don't mind, I've already spent £5,000 on Counter-Strike Gambling today, which means that those rare knife skins are just around the corner. <laughs> Sheesh! 5,000! Sheesh! Big rich. number! Big na, alam mo, oh, alam mo na balita na parang ano, yung big number. Ani, mas mahal pa daw yung skins ng ano ng CS:GO compared dun sa ano, sa mismong uh, barrel <laughs> sa real life. Shish, how the generate our gamers are. Shish. Hey friends, I'm back from my break and let me tell you, good to have one because I was burnt the hell out in the end of the year. So you Woo! better be This is the after the video segment where I talk Ooh. about some cool things deserving of a shout out and you sit Ooh. patiently. Imagine you are suckable. This nuts. <laughs> na pangalan dyan ni Mikey ta dito na sabihin. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha be. Gotcha botch. Gotcha budge. Don't even think about it. I'm not suggesting when you're in the corner of the top 10 bench of your image lips. How dare you. How dare you? How dare you plug in that one? But that this is a cool video, actually. This is a cool video. Cool, cool, cool video. The first thing that I think deserves your attention is a teeny tiny game design YouTube channel that I found by Total Shock. And one of the things that deserves your attention is my attention. Is my, is me, is me. Deserve my attention. You deserve my attention, you know. You know, and creating here a part of social, please, dude. Just kidding. Video games are bad. Yeah, kind of true. Punchy looks and obscure, interesting video game ephemera, and dishing out seemingly absurd sounding hot takes that are actually very insightful if you listen to his explanation. Uh, if I have a time, maybe. Did you know that Case of the Golden Idol isn't a real mystery game, or the cyberpunk having a. Ooh! I do not know that. Maybe I'll check it out on myself. Al alam mo, I, 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 I super duper appreciate yung mga ganito mga videos. More, more in, uh, uh, informative na narrative videos as I video. I very very appreciate and uh, I can uh, watch this together with you. Which is very grateful and I want to know what's your opinion about this video. About the things that we have discussed over this. Link below, down below. Uh, please, please, please comment sa baba. You may chat below if you want. Let's discuss. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe you are right. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe the person who are besides you are right. However, all the people who made the very clever choice to become an architect of games patron, starting at just a dollar a month, they get early access to videos, they get updates, they get behind the scenes stuff, and they even get special personalized shout outs where you can pay the price of a point to haul me out and get to say whatever you like. Cool, cool, nice. 
stop that shout out last time and just oh, what's the name? Jinkoid! Next time I'll try <laughs> some uh, some uh, fudge up name. Fudge up name. Yes. Maybe you will shout my name. My dictator of D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, haba, haba, I cannot read it. Tong haba, 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 haba. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for the video. Thank you. Thank you, video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very good video. Very good video. What about you? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? <laughs> like, like he said, uh, once you know the points that uh, you feel that uh, this game, particular game, is very uh, manipulative in a sense of psychological uh, mind uh, of you or very manip manipulative in terms of your emotions. So I think that's the game that you will say that it is unethical right but there's some games that are ethical and you may also just this turn off your brain just if you enjoy it then you enjoy it ah uh, regardless just don't think about it just in uh, like i said uh, games are meant to be enjoy okay games are competitive just the second third or maybe the fifth one i don't know the the second third fourth as long as first games are meant to be enjoyed second games are meant to be enjoyed Third, games are meant to be enjoyed. Fourth, games are meant to be enjoyed. Fifth, then games are competitive. Okay? Got it, boys. Girls. LGBTQ, RSZ, WXYZ. Let's go, baby.